Hey everybody, welcome back to another Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist, Tom Stevens, here to break down the lyrics to your favorite songs that you request. And today is a special request day to Lightning 104. Shout out to him who wanted Eminem. And this is a debut for Eminem. I can't believe it. I've been waiting and waiting to do Eminem. I don't know if I can keep up. I don't know if I can understand. I've heard Eminem before, but I've never really listened closely enough to the music. Today, it's called Stan. So thank you so much to all you loyal followers, subscribers, that y'all make comments. You join in with me on the show and help me learn a lot. Let's dive into it. Without further ado, let's listen to Eminem and Stan. I've heard this before. Man, this is a really good start. I love this song. I forget what song this is, but this has got to be a song within his song because I've heard that before somewhere. Uh, but what a great start to it. It was almost it was like it was coming on the radio with that old staticky sound of a um, record player uh, from back in the day. But you still ain't calling I left my cell, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom I sent two letters back in autumn You must not have got them There probably was a problem at the post office or something Sometimes I scribble addresses too sloppy when I jot them But anyways, fuck it, what's been up, man? How's your daughter? Man, this is like a letter he's writing And I, I've heard that he called himself Slim Shady in the past So I don't know if this is like him writing a letter to himself in the past um, or somebody's writing a letter to somebody, but this is him. This is so cool. It was a dress is too sloppy when I jot him. But anyways, fuck it. What's been up, man? How's your daughter? My girlfriend's pregnant too. I'm about to be a father. If I have a daughter, guess what I'ma call her? I'ma name her Bonnie. I read about your uncle Ronnie too. I'm sorry. I had a friend kill himself over some bitch who didn't want him. I know you probably hear this every day, but I'm your biggest fan. I even got the underground shit that you did with Scam. I got a room full of your posters and your pictures, man. I like the shit you did with Rockets too. That shit was bad. Is this somebody writing a letter to him that he got and that he's reading? Um, because it's almost like it's writing to Eminem, like this guy relates to him. Full of your posters and your pictures, man. I like the shit you did with Rockets too. That shit was bad. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back, just a chat. Truly yours, your biggest fan. This is Stan. Interesting that I'm trying to figure out whether or not this is an actual letter or if this is him just writing like a pretend note. To himself. Dear Slim, you still ain't called a row. I hope you have a chance. I ain't mad. I just think it's fucked up you don't answer fans. If you didn't want to talk to me outside the concert, you didn't have to. But you could have signed an autograph for Matthew. That's my little brother, man. He's only six years old. We waited in the blistering cold for you for four hours and you just said no. That's pretty shitty, man. You like his fucking idol. He wants to be just like you, man. He likes you more than I do. I ain't that mad, though. I just don't like being lied to. Remember when we met in Denver? You said if I write you, you would write back. This is really something because it's like I'm in the middle of a relationship between two people 
and really not it's a one way because it's just one person that's writing uh, but almost like it to me instantly it feels like it's written from a fan to him and it's somebody who feel like they felt like they have a relationship with Eminem and have either talked to him met him uh, and had interaction and feel totally rejected by him which I can imagine with fame is really hard because these people are are famous to so many people and they meet so many people and it's not like they can keep up with all of the different fans that are there. And a lot of times they're not meaning to not be available to the fans. They just have a lot going on and a lot of other things. So the fans end up feeling closer to them than the person the star does to the fans. But boy, this is really building. Just don't like me and lie to Remember when we met in Denver? You said if I write to you, you would write back. See, I'm just like you in a way. I never knew my father neither. He used to always cheat on my mom and beat her. I can relate to what you're saying in your songs. So when I have a shitty day, I drift away and put them on. Cause I don't really got shit else. So that shit helps when I'm depressed. I even got a tattoo with your name across the chest. Sometimes I even cut myself to see how much it bleeds. It's like adrenaline. The pain is such a sudden rush for me. See, everything you say is real. And I respect you because you tell it. My girlfriend's jealous because I talk about you 24-7. But she don't know you like I know you slim. No one it's almost like this guy is talking like he just his best friends like totally connected to him and it's that it sounds so stalkerish right but he's so connected you know he's even talking about hurting himself he's talking about you know his girlfriend being jealous because all he does is talk about him and you know it seems a little strange like i'm really really curious if this is actually real so I can't wait to hear y'all's feedback on what is this story about and what's behind this stand thing. What does? She don't know what it was like for people like us growing up. You gotta call me, man. I'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose. Sincerely yours, Stan. P.S. We should be together too. Wow. This will be the last package I ever send your ass. It's been six months and still no word. I don't deserve it. I know you got my last two letters. I wrote the addresses on them perfect. So this is my cassette I'm sending you. I hope you hear it. I'm in the car right now. I'm doing that. This is just so bizarre. It's like this guy is going crazy because he hasn't heard back from him. And he is taking it as if it's a total rejection. Like he's doing it personally. He's trying to send a message. And he is going to get back at him. I feel like he is, he's trying to take down uh, Eminem. If that's who the letters are written to. And it's like he's on a mission now. It's like a kamikaze. So this is my cassette I'm sending you. I hope you hear it. I'm in the car right now. I'm doing 90 on the freeway. Hey Slim, I drink a fifth oh, of vodka. No. You dare me to drive? You know the song by Bill Collins in the air of the night about that guy who could have saved that other guy from drowning but didn't? Then Bill saw it all, then at his show he found him? That's kind of how this is. You could have rescued me from drowning. Now it's oh, too late. Wow. I'm on a thousand downers now. I'm drowsy. And all I wanted was a lousy letter of a call. I hope this is just, it's a fan letter, and he is thinking, you know, Eminem wants nothing to do with him, could care less about him, and now it's like he's going to kill himself because, almost like revenge, I'll show you, I'm going to get you back, and it's possible Eminem never has really heard about him or even seen the letter. I mean, a lot of these famous people might not even ever get contact with that. I hope you know I ripped all of your pictures off the wall. I love you, Slim. We could have been together. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. And when you dream, I hope you can't sleep and you scream about it. I hope your conscience eats at you when you can't breathe without me. See, Slim? Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to talk. Hey, Slim, that's my girlfriend screaming in the trunk. But oh, I didn't no. slit her throat. I just tied her up. See, I ain't like you. Because if she suffocates, she'll suffer more. And then she'll die, too. Well, gotta go. I'm almost at the bridge now. Oh, shit. I forgot. How am I supposed to send this shit out? Oh, my goodness. This is, like, this is too much. Like, so he's just girlfriend in the trunk. He's driving the car. I love how Eminem 
This to me sounds like older Eminem, but I really don't know. It just sounds more chill. It's a more just steady rhythm. It's a it's a steady rap that just goes throughout. It's not super fast. It's not hard to understand. And it's literally just letters and letters and letters. And now car is crashing. Bridge now. Oh shit, I forgot. How am I supposed to send this shit out? After all this, he's writing the fan back. What a twist. And trying to be good, like in, actually interested. How far along is she? And he's been really busy. And that happens like in life. And, and that guy, Stan, just could not take it and saw it as rejection. This happens so much in life just to regular people, but this cracks me up. I meant to write you sooner, but I've just been busy. You said your girlfriend's pregnant now. How far along is she? Look, I'm really flattered you would call your daughter that. And here's an autograph for your brother. I wrote it on the starter cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you with the show. I must have missed you. Don't think I did that shit intentionally just to diss you. But what's the shit you said about you like to cut your wrist too? I say that shit just clown is all. Come on, how fucked up is you? You got some issues, Stan. I think you need some counseling to help your ass from bouncing off the walls when you get down some. Man, no doubt he needs some counseling, right? After all that he said. It's like he was spinning off the rails and just assuming everything based off Eminem and his lyrics, like that that's who he is all the time. And man, he just took it so literally. And now he's actually trying to help this guy out, but Stan's already driven off the bridge, probably. I miss you, Stan. I think you need some counseling to help your ass from bouncing off the walls when you get down some. And what's the shit about us meant to be together? That type of shit'll make me not want us to meet each other. I really think you and your girlfriend need each other. But maybe you just need to treat her better. I hope you get to read this letter. I just hope it reaches you in time before you hurt yourself. I think that you'll be doing just fine. Man, trying to be really nice about it and like, man, you need to get help if it's that bad. And he has no idea. Relax a little. I'm glad I inspire you with Stan. Why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. I seen this one shit on the news a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and drove his car over a bridge and had his girlfriend in the trunk and she was pregnant with his kid. Oh and in the car my. they safe, but they didn't say who it was too. Come to think about it, his name was, it was you. Damn. Oh my gosh. That is just crazy. Like, what an ending to this whole thing. And it was him that he saw on the news and the story and was putting the link together. And it's like, wait a minute, that could have been you. I, I don't even know where this, I've never heard this before in my life, but what a story. And y'all fill me in on the details of what is actually behind this, or is this just a song that he just happened to make up and put this whole thing kind of together? But wow. Uh, I love this. I mean, very different than the Eminem I expected there for sure. I expected raw, I expected raunchy, I expected just super fast and a lot of crazy beats, but that was super steady. So shout out to Lightning 104. Thanks for recommending that. And for all of you, thanks for your recommendations. Please, after I hear this story, if you need help, if you're in a relationship that's really bad, if you're in a life situation that's bad, please seek out help in your local community. Uh, go to psychologytoday.com. Check out the NAMI, the NAMI.org website in the link in my bio. And please try to get some help because this is just my personal opinion. This is not therapy, but I want you to be able to get help and want to help you try to find that help if you need it. So I appreciate you all for watching, especially introducing Eminem. And I know we've got some more hardcore Eminem that's coming soon because I really 
want to hear more of him. So thanks for the opening of Eminem. Thanks for watching, and I cannot wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy. Thank you.